And this is the uh, look after the sanding and all the polishing and all that. So it came up pretty nice. The aluminium always comes up really nice. Don't have to worry about paint, scratches and things like that. Um, just take the bike out. Make sure you polish it every now and then so it doesn't rust and decompose. Yeah, lovely. Lovely. This is a uh, two seek, two seek. Um, some company that I, I found on uh, eBay, and uh, yeah, they're fantastic. Um, long length. I had to extend the length of the stem. Uh, the original one was sort of was like this. So that was the original one which had a much higher rise, it was much shorter, and now it's the two seek. Because I changed the handlebars and they sweep back quite a bit, this just gives me a bit more extension on the handlebars and a bit more control as well on the bike. And a bit more suspension, because this is an aluminium and there is some level of torsion on these handlebars and it it really does give you a nice suspension and ride, dampens all the vibrations, the majority of vibrations that you'll get on a normal set of handlebars. These are called Molly Morks and uh, swept back quite narrow, but um, that's great for me because I always go canal paths and on the roads and stuff and helps to dodge people on the paths and stuff like that as well. These are the original, this is the original seat post that uh, it came with uh, for the Giant CRS series. And uh, it's holding up nice. So I just polished it and uh, used it again. Yeah, I've got some Shimano dual hoods on here. And these are on some Mavic rims, which are 36 spoke. So great for gravel and uh, good for stability. A super comfy seat on here as well. It has to be comfortable. Um, and uh, yeah, I will compromise weight with this seat because when you sit on it, it is just beautiful, nice. You can stay on the bike the whole time, sit on the bike in the whole time when you're going over bumps and things like that. It just holds you nice. Brake and gear cables are from a company called Risk, and uh, they give you everything with the cable. So you get the whole kit, and then you get all the ferrules and things like that. And um, and these shrink wraps as well. I've noticed um, that they they've come with. I, I didn't know what they were originally, but found out they were actually shrink wraps. So it got a little match to it to heat it up around the cable and uh, it seals it up really nice. Got some um, gold coloured brake noodles, flexi noodles. So these are Tetro Mini Vs and uh, these are the RX1 versions of those uh, Mini V brakes. And they are much snappier. They give you really good stopping power. And I think that they're you know, almost on the same level as the brake discs in terms of stopping power. I've never had any problems with them. I've never had any issues in the wet. Um, and uh, yeah, they're much, they're much more snappier. So when you, when you um, hit those brake levers, this just responds immediately. These out from the original sort of longer armed um, V brakes. Um, and I've got these titanium screws to hold them in as well to so just you know just to take off a little bit of weight not much doesn't make much difference but um, yeah they work really well so uh, recommended to everyone if you want to try these I still got good tire coverage as well so I can get a bigger tire in there with no problem um, but these these are the new normal size tires that I run which are 32 mil but yeah 
Tetro RX1s, very cheap as well. So this is a BB60 bottom bracket. It's covered in mud at the moment, I need to give it a clean, but uh, this is a Roadstar bottom bracket as well. Pretty smooth, lightweight, recommended. I was gonna get a mountain bike bottom bracket, but don't need it. The BB60 works pretty well. Yeah, these are the um, 10 speed Shimano Tiagra shifters and uh, look really nice on the uh, swept back handlebars here. Um, they're kind of like a road style derailleur and uh, switcher. So I've got the cassette, which is a Shimano Tiagra as well, and uh, the um, gears of freight cable there, but yeah, and the uh, Shimano Tiagra trailers, which is really good, it's really good. So these are the um, Decas cranks, crank set. I've got an adapter on here so I can change the um, chain rings a bit easier. I had a 36 and the original set that came with the um, Franks was a 38 teeth and I, I wanted a 36 teeth so I got an adapter so I could change them out I've got a few different chain rings that are this style which is the uh, 104 millimeter spaced apart style and uh, yeah it's a lovely crank it's a three-piece crank comes in the box and it's really nicely packed and and all that so it is really nice and it's lightweight as well You've sort of got hollowed out uh, crank arms there as well, so it's it's really light. It's getting, I had the IXF cranks before and um, changed them out to these, and these are actually 165 millimeter crank lengths as well, so they're a bit more spinny, and uh, I feel much better on these actually than the original 170 millimeter cranks. This is a KMC chain, and it's a super lightweight chain, 10 speed. And let me tell you something, these, it's much lighter than the original current, uh, chain that I had on here, which was, which was a, a KMC standard. Um, you've got these hollowed out links, as you can see, that's why I'm going closer in on these. Um, these are some super lightweight pedals. Um, fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Not too big, not too wide, not too narrow, just right. And holds your feet on there. Pretty nice as well. Not bad for a cheap sort of AliExpress deal. Make sure you have your speedometer on there as well. So you can just monitor yourself as you're riding. Even if you use other things like uh, Strava and all those different sort of cycling apps, you still have reference live as you're riding with these kind of things. So this is a wireless one. That's the uh, sensor just there and that's the magnet. 